Hey everyone, we're here at Canary Wharf. It's National Meets London Day and I'm joined by Adam and Lawrence of Foreign Affairs. How are you doing guys? How's it going man? You good? It's good to see you guys. Yeah, it's been so, nice. Did we, did we catch you at Buckland Boots? Yeah, we, we probably ran past each other. Yeah, I was running around yeah. like a madman. Yeah. But uh, yeah, welcome to National Meets London. So, yeah, it's good. Our first great, time. Great set guys. It was awesome. So tell us what you've made of the experience. It was really good man. It's, it's a good stage. Like nice big stage. And the rain held off so it was good. And you guys have got quite a bit of new music coming, haven't you? Is it yeah. five weeks' time? Yes, like, yeah, I've been yeah, watching yeah, the yeah. countdown on yeah, your socials. Yeah. We're counting down to something special in five weeks. Yeah, five weeks. Five weeks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've been busy, man. We've been touring. We went on with Larkin Poe for a month, so that was really cool in Europe. Uh, but yeah, it's all good. Yeah. I was going to ask you about the Larkin Poe tour, because that was a pretty extensive tour all around Europe, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, five weeks. Yeah. What would you like to share the stage with those girls? Oh, different level, different yeah. levels. Yeah. I mean, we've been on a few tours, as you know, over the last three or four years, but. Um, a five week run like that, you just get into the swing of things so much, and it was, yeah, it was it, class. It becomes like a steam train, yeah. and um, those girls are mad talented, like just so, so talented. And you've visited quite a few countries around Europe as well. Do you notice kind of a difference in the fan base and different things that they react to around Europe? Absolutely. You know, the one that took us, and Dylan, our manager, and um, all of us by surprise was Germany. Yeah. So um, we've heard good things that German are receptive to country, rock, blues, but it was, it blew our minds. It's unbelievable. Dedication's unreal. Right? Yeah, we did three shows in Germany and, and it was just wow. Yeah, unbelievable. And Scandinavia. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. That's I mean, you got you just mentioned that you've been on a load of tours with the likes of Frankie Ballard, Aaron Watson, I saw you in Manchester with. Um, so do you kind of take things off each artist and use it as a learning experience? Yeah, absolutely, man. Uh, with no discredit to, to any UK artists, ourselves included, but the Americans just there's something about showmanship. But you have to, you just oh, have to yeah. learn from them. Because like Frankie Ballard, you know what he's like. It's crazy. The charisma. Aaron Watson's the same. So they, you, they craft shows unbelievably yeah. well. Yeah. Every time you see an American artist or we've toured with them, you, you, we learn so much. Yeah. Yeah. They're all very different artists as well. They yeah. say so it's quite. You've seen kind of all different fan bases and the way Absolutely. people. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Like when we saw you in Manchester with with Aaron Watson, he, he's more traditional. And then you've got Frankie Ballard, who's just who's just a rock star. So it was yeah. cool, man. That's yeah. Good. We must talk about your uh, old Fire Station EP that came out yeah. this year. Is it, you've had a load of success from that. I mean, Faded's on like 200,000 yeah, streams there. It's awesome. a surprise, man. Yeah, it did. It blew up out of nowhere, um, which was amazing. Yeah, yeah. We, had a, we had a good uh, PR marketing team behind that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we don't know who would have been Sonic do the that. business. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out to the Sonic guys. Yeah, man. But uh, tell us a little bit about that EP because it was kind of a, a long time in the waiting for you guys, and it took it. It was the first release that you'd done for ages. So yes, it was. Tell us a bit about we it. did take our time with it and um, I think the reason for that was we obviously we wanted to get it right but I think um, our sound changed a lot like you said did you learn from the artists we toured with and we did we started off more rootsy and then as we've toured with all these artists you go actually I want to play that sort of music I want to play rock here I want to so it took us time to get to that um, but now we're back in the studio so this new music how does it compare to the old fire station stuff and how is it a kind of a progression from that? Well, um, we just went, we've just come back from Scotland for a week writing. We had some interesting songs written in that week. Um, completely different style altogether. But that's what we like about the way that we write, is that there's never a consistent... Eclectic. It's very eclectic. You can see that from your live shows, you really yeah. kind of mix it up a little bit. And, yeah, 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 we just go for it. Whatever we feel we want to write, we write. So in terms of plans for the rest of the year, what have you got? Kind of lined up in terms of live shows and stuff. Yeah, we're festivaling now for the next like couple of months really. We're at the Wilderness Festival next week, and we're playing Country File Country File Live. Yep. We're playing we're playing after a sheep shearing. That's a first. That is a first. That is a first. So they're bringing the they're wheeling the sheep on, shearing it, then we come on. Good support act. Talk about entertainment right there. <laughs> it's good to see you guys. Enjoy the rest of your time in Ashford, East London, and uh, it's good to catch up with you guys. Thanks, mate. Thank you, man.